Hey everyone, welcome back to All Adventures Great and Small. I'm here with my Gladiator and wanted to do a quick update video because made a few changes to the back of the truck. Uh, we're getting ready here to leave on our trip and figured out a few things that I wanted to change. So just wanted to go through what changes I've made. So first thing I changed is you can see the oven is gone. I kind of had a love-hate relationship with the oven and I'll talk about that more uh, maybe in a future video, but for right now, you can see I have added another shelf of space down here. And then the cabinet, when you open it up, you will see the water tank back there. That's a, a Dometic uh, tank that runs the sink um, or the faucet here. Um, and then you can see where I've made a little cutout for the water tank to sit. Um, and I got lots of room up here. Uh, some of our pantry items go here. Um, down here is where I have basically everything you need for coffee. Um, ignore this instant coffee here. Um, but anyways, that's where all the coffee stuff is. And then pots and pans are back in there and utensils are up there. Um, and then storage space here, a little bit of spice rack here. All right. So we gained some more space, uh, for the kitchen, which is great. Um, the other thing to show, show everyone here is coming around. Uh, back in here, so you'll notice I've changed a few things and I got an extra Yeti box, um, another 30 Yeti that can sit back here. Um, there is a, a another 15 Yeti uh, go box that can sit on top of the, uh, of the diesel heater. But when I pull this out, you'll see the biggest change, which is this big water tank here. So I had two seven gallon tanks that were just basic, simple water tanks. And they were working good, except for they ended up being really heavy. And my concern there was that it was a bit harder for me to move them than I thought it would be. And so in this scenario, I decided, let me go with a tank system where I just leave it in the truck. And if I'm going to leave the tank in the truck, then I can go with a bigger tank. And so let me get a few things out of the way. All right. So now you can see... This is a 16 gallon tank and I built a little shelf on top of it and that allows me to store a little 15 go box on top of it. Let me set that aside and there you go. Now you can see this tank. And so this allowed me to get that, that tank and you can probably see it says 14 right here and then 16 gallons when it's filled up to the top. Now this is actually full right now. Um, move the truck a bit. There you go. So you can see it. Um, I do have it full so far. It's not leaked. I've maybe put maybe 200 miles on the truck with it full. Um, and I can put a link for this tank. Um, but there you go. So it's a big five inch lid with a nice seal on it. Um, it is vented. You can see the vent there, which is great because we're heading from pretty much sea level where we are on the east coast and we'll be heading up into mountains or seven, nine thousand feet. So that's going to be good. Um, that ties into the hot tap system. And then to access that Dometic tank, that's right here. Um, and so you pull it in and out from the back. And if you remember from some of my other videos, one change now is the Jackery sits uh, facing out rather than inside so if i come around you'll be able to see the jackery now sits right here so and the jackery is wired in with uh, the solar panel up on the roof and um, you can see the back side of this tank so that's some of the big changes is like i said earlier the oven is now gone um, we got more cabinet space i was able to work another yeti um, go box into the whole mix here by going with this this big bigger tank and uh you know this um this bed slide is doing pretty well so this tank um you know at 16 gallons you know water is like eight and a half gallons or eight and a half pounds a gallon so you know we're pushing like 160 ish pounds with the tank um when this is slid in uh it puts the tank right over the the axle um so it's in really good position for this tank to sit there with that kind of weight um, in the back of the truck. Well, I went ahead and put everything back together and just wanted to quick show 
what this all looks like. It looks kind of crazy, but man, it holds a lot of gear in the back of this Gladiator. So uh, you'll see I had the four Dometic boxes, the Pelican case, and now because of this change with the water tank, so I have a total of three Yeti 30 go boxes and then two 15 go boxes. And that's still with 16 gallons of water plus another roughly three gallons in that smaller Dometic tank. So that's a pretty good upgrade. Uh, there's also the two uh, big Rome boxes that are I think 66 liters a piece on the roof of the truck. So we got lots of storage space and uh, pretty, pretty excited about this change with this water tank. Uh, we definitely got more room. Um, I got one more thing I got to build. I need to build a little stand for this Yeti box here so it's not just kind of toppling over. But uh, we're kind of in the home stretch of getting this thing done and, and put together. So that's kind of the update for today. Uh, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, if this video was helpful, please consider subscribing. It uh, really helps me just know what kind of videos to make. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.